Welcome to a brand new topic on this channel, Business Intelligence or BI. In case you're not sure what BI means, BI is simply the process of collecting data, analyzing the data and finally visualizing the data. So you turn data into information actually. The great thing is that for this purpose, multiple tools are available on the market. One of these tools is Microsoft's Power BI. And Power BI is actually not a single tool. It consists of multiple connected tools. So we will take a look at one of these Power BI tools, which is called Power BI Desktop. Before we start, one quick note. If you want to know more about Power BI, I would be really happy to welcome you in my Udemy course, which will give you a complete introduction into this Power BI universe. You can find the link to that course down there in the video description at a special discount price. If you're not interested into that, no problem. Let's take a look at Power BI Desktop right now. So as I said, Power BI is not a single tool. The Power BI tools are Power BI Desktop, Power BI Service and Power BI Mobile. Now, why do we have these tools? Well, Power BI Desktop is a local application which you can simply download. In this application, you can connect Power BI to different data sources. Then you can analyze your data and visualize your data in charts, for example. After you finish your local work, you can then publish your project to Power BI Service. This is a cloud application. Well, and as your project is now in the cloud, you can use Power BI Mobile, a mobile app, to access your projects and the data in it from mobile devices. Of course, these tools have a lot more functions, but this is the general idea behind that. We will focus on the local application, Power BI Desktop. And the great thing is that the download of Power BI Desktop is for free, as long as your work stays locally. If you want to have increased sharing capabilities with Power BI Service, then you have to buy Power BI Pro. But for our purposes, we can use the Power BI free version. However, there is one thing that is not so great. Power BI Desktop is only available on Windows. That's just the way it is. But if you are still interested into Power BI Desktop and don't have a Windows computer, just keep watching the video and see what great things you can do with Power BI Desktop. So, as we now know that we have to download Power BI Desktop, let's see where we can find that download link. Here I am on the official Power BI homepage. Well, and we want Power BI Desktop, so we simply go to Products up here and go to Power BI Desktop right there. Here you can now find the download button and the advanced download options. I would use the advanced download options because this allows you to specify the language you want to download Power BI Desktop in. So we click Advanced Download Options. And if we now scroll down, you can select the language. I will stick to English. Then we simply press Download. And here you now simply have to select which platform you have. So 32-bit or 64-bit. And if we then select our platform, start the download and follow the installation guide, then we can start Power BI Desktop now and see this for the first time. Now, the sign in option in the center is not important at the moment. As we will work in Power BI Desktop locally, we don't need to sign in or to create a Power BI account. One thing that is more interesting at the moment is this Get Data button. However, in this video, we wanted to download Power BI Desktop and get a general overview of it. This is what we did. So, if you want to know more about the Get Data button and what we can now do with Power BI Desktop, I would be really happy to welcome you in this video. Because right there, we will import data, analyze that data, and finally create a visualization. Hope to see you there, and bye-bye.